The following are the interactions that are found in our biome. Mutualism is a relationship where two species benefit from each other. In the aquatic biome, the remora fish attaches to the belly of the shark and follows it wherever it goes. The shark provides food for the remora fish while the remora fish feeds off parasites that may harm the shark. Predation is when one animal preys on another. Otters prey on sea urchin, eating up to 90 of them in one day. Competition is a relationship where two species compete for the same resource. For example, barnacles compete with each other for space in the intertidal zone. Parasitism is the relationship where a parasite benefits from the expense of the host. The parasites in this case are the trematode worms, which benefit by feeding on the fish, which is the host in this situation. Commensalism is an association between two organisms in which one benefits and the other is not benefited nor harmed. Hermit crabs seek homes in abandoned snail shells. The hermit crab benefits because they receive a new home and the snail is not harmed because they no longer live in that shell. This is our example of energy flow in a food chain. Abiotic factors since the aquatic system encompasses such a large percent of the world, it's hard to determine definite abiotic factors. Aquatic areas tend to be cooler and more humid than other areas. There are two types of aquatic systems, freshwater and marine. Freshwater has a very low amount of salt concentration, usually only about 1%, and organisms that live in freshwater usually cannot survive in marine areas. Marine areas cover about three-fourths of the Earth's surface and takes in a huge amount of atmospheric carbon dioxide. The marine water evaporates and turns into rainwater for the land. Location the aquatic biome is the largest biome located all around the world, taking up 75% of the Earth's surface. An interesting fact is only 3% of the 75% of water in the aquatic biome is fresh water.